me first introduce myself. I am Shalu Sharma, working as an assistant professor in IMT College of Pharmacy, Greta Noida. Today I'm uh, presenting and uh, want to discuss with you about virus. Have a look on. So now the content is introduction, classification of virus, morphology of virus, life cycle of virus. I will discuss with you. Now, what is virus? virus uh, you should know about the characteristics of virus because uh, today is uh, COVID, about a COVID virus pandemic. So we should know about the characteristics of virus. So these are the microorganisms, which are the smallest infectious agent. Viruses are 10 to 100 times smaller than bacteria, 20 to 30 nanometer. And the smallest known virus is approx, approx 0.2002 micrometer in diameter and the la uh, largest one are about 0.8 micrometer in diameter. Viruses are uh, so small that can only be seen at magnifications provided by electron microscope. We can't uh, see with the naked eye, so uh, we need a electron microscope to see the virus. Viruses, uh, they can grow in bacterial, animal or plant cells. Now, Again, is they are usually 10 to 100 times smaller than bacteria. They multiply only within the living host cell. Without living host cell, they are nothing. They can't replicate without the living host cell. So they need for the replication. Viruses are nucleoproteins, uh, uh, smallest proteins. So what is nucleoproteins? The proteinous coat that is uh, capsid around the nucleic acid, which forms the uh, center core of the virus particle. So the viral genetic material consists maybe either DNA or RNA. Both uh, DNA or RNA can't be present in a virus. Viruses are easily transmitted from infected host cell to healthy ones. And the study of virus is called virology. Now the classification of virus. So Classification of virus divided on the basis of mor morphology, on the basis of their host, on the basis of their genetic material. So one by one, we can discuss, we'll discuss. So virus may be classified into different types depending on the capsid structure. So first of all, we should know the what is capsid. So it is the protein shell of a virus enclosing its genetic material. So uh, now first one is helical virus. So helical virus, resemble long rod uh, that may be rigid or flexible. That's why it is, it is called helical virus. Or virus, we can say the virus made up of single kind of capsomers. What is capsomers? Capsomers are subunit of the capsid and uh, outer covering of proteins that uh, protect the genetic material of virus. When this single type of capsomers and nucleic acid combines together, and form a spiral or helical tube and results in rod shaped or cylindrical shape of virus. You can see the structure of helical virus is a nucleic acid and capsomers. So capsomers are the subunit of the capsid and uh, an outer covering of protein. We can say the outer covering of proteins that protect the genetic material of the virus. Now moving to the next slide. Second one is Back to the slide, example of helical virus are influenza virus and Ebola virus. Second is polyhedral virus. So polyhedral virus are regular polyhedron with 20 triangular faces and 12 corners. You can see in the diagram, polyhedral virus diagram, uh, it has a 20 tri triangular faces and 12 corners and 30 edges. This nucleic acid is uh, iscohedral capsid. So iscohedral capsid are of two types. First one is pentagonal capsomers and the second one is hexagonal capsomers. Pentagonal capsomers called pentones and the hexagonal, hexagonal uh, capsomers called hexones. Example of uh, polyhedral virus are polio virus and adenovirus. Next is uh, enveloped virus. So enveloped virus, they are roughly spherical but highly polyomorphic in nature. So what is polymorphic? Polymorphism is the existence of irregular and 
variant forms in the same species or strain of microorganism so that's why when helical or polyhedral wires are enclosed by envelopes they are called envelope helical or enveloped polyhedral wires examples are covid 19 hepatitis b and c you can see the structure of enveloped helical wires and enveloped polyhedral wires so there is a nucleic acid and the capsomers uh, subunit of capsid spikes also present and an envelope also present now the complex virus complex virus is uh, some viruses particularly bacterial virus have very complicated structures so these are called complex virus because of its complexity this type of capsid is neither having helical shape nor having polyhedral shape so just because of its complexity we call we are calling it as complex virus you can see in the diagram they are tetrapole shaped with a hexagonal head and uh, a cylindrical tail the head consist of tightly packed core of nucleic acid dna or you can say the either dna or rna then uh, collar is present and co contractile sheath also there is a tail and in the end uh, there end plate and the tail fiber pin also present uh, this is a example uh, example of complex virus is pox virus now on the basis of their host viruses multiply only in cell of particular species and they are divided into three main classes bacterial virus plant virus and animal virus moving on the next slide first one is bacterial virus bacterial virus they are also called phageni and they have dna not rna because uh, as i already said that uh, they have either dna or rna so they have dna not rna and they are also called bacteriophage bacteriophage uh, bacteriophage is a type of virus that infect uh, bacteria or we can say bacteria eater bacteriophages are bacteria eater because bacteriophage destroy their host cells now plant virus plant virus they are called phytophagene they have only rna not dna and they can infect uh, potatoes sugarcane tobacco and higher other plants other higher plants now animal virus animal virus they are also called zoophagene they usually have dna but may also have rna and infect pigeon cow dog etc now third one is on the basis of genetic material so viruses may use either dna or rna as i said uh, as their genetic material these are the types of viruses on the basis of genetic material so there is example of dna virus and rna virus if virus has dna so this is the example of viruses pox varicella adenovirus herpes virus and hepatitis virus if virus has a rna then example of rna viruses are aids mumps virus polio virus and tego virus moving to the next slide life cycle of viruses now how virus replicate in host cell so there is a two phases uh, lytic and lysogenic pathway of viral infections this pro this process is broken into two pathways first one is lytic and second one is lysogenic pathway of viral infection so now the steps of multiplication cycle of these phases like that first is attachment or you can say adsorption second one is uh, penetration third one is uh, biosynthesis of phase components and the fourth one is uh, maturation and fifth one is release of progeny phase particles so this is the life cycle of uh, uh, virus replication so in the first step it is the first step of replication in virus is adsorption or we can say the attachment so uh, attachment is attachment or adsorption in this virus comes in contact with the cells of host and adsorb on the surface of host cell this is the first step of replication and in the second step of replication in this penetration of virus occur by two ways first is an uh, naked virus or we can say non enveloped virus and second step is enveloped virus so in uh, naked virus or we can say non enveloped virus in which virus enter the cell by engulfing of the uh, 
in which uh, enter the cell by engulfing of whole virus by means of phagocytosis so with the help of phagocytosis it will engulf the whole virus so what is first of all what is uh, phagocytosis so phagocytosis is a cellular process for ingesting and eliminating particles larger than 0.5 micrometer in diameter second is enveloped virus enveloped virus the enveloped virus used with the host cell plasma membrane and release its nucleocapsid into the cytoplasm so enveloped virus use the cytoplasm of host cell okay the third one is uncoating uncoating means virus separate its nucleic acid and capsid inside the host cell by the action of lysosomal enzyme fourth step is biosynthesis and uh, biosynthesis after the process of uncoating uncoating uh, uncoating ki process ke baad these are, there is a synthesis of viral nucleic acid viral nucleic acid means now in this virus there is a host dna and the viral dna also both dna or we can say rna are present and capsid pro protein by using enzyme in the host cell so the site of viral synthesis depend on the type of virus for example dna virus dna virus synthesize their components in the host cell and nucleic acid uh, nucleus and rna synthesis in the cytoplasm of host cell so uh, again i am repeating dna virus synthesize their components in the host cell and the uh, rna synthesize their components in the cytoplasm of host cell now the uh, step maturation maturation or we can say the viral assembly or encapsulation so the newly produced capsomers proteins combine or enclose with the nucleic acid to form a viral nucleocapsid so this uh, this process is happening in the maturation or you can say the viral assembly now last process is release now viral will release it is the final step in the replication of virus and result in the release of mature virions from the host cell now viral uh, virus will release and will replicate by the lytic process lytic growth cycle of bacteriophage there is a lysogenic process also lysogenic cycle also so in the lysogenic cycle when virus will release it will remain inactive for days or months or years and eventually when the conditions are favorable conditions are favorable means what like when immune system is weakened when our immune system is weakened the virus will enter the lytic cycle वही चीज हमारे कोविड में भी हुआ जब आपकी इम्यूनिटी वीक होती है तब आपका वायरस एंटर करता है वो लाइसोजेनिक फेज में होता है और वो फिर लाइसोजेनिक फेज से लाइटिक साइकिल में कन्वर्ट हो जाता है जब आपका इम्यून सिस्टम वीक होगा तब ये वायरस अटैक करेगा तब वायरस रिलीज होगा और रेप्लीकेट करेगा यू कैन सी इन द साइकिल बैक्टीरिया और वायरस विल अटैच ऑन द होस्ट सेल एंड इट विल पेनिट्रेट पेनिट्रेट इट विल रिलीज इट्स genetic material to the host cell and uh, parent cell convert into the daughter cell now the treatment of uh, uh, virus we can treat uh, virus by the antiviral by giving the antiviral specific for, specific for infection examples are like tamiflu relenza etc uh, body's natural defense immune system like uh, rest we can uh, take rest anti take uh, antioxidants also feed a cold starve a uh, fever antioxidants means antioxidant zinc is considered as the potential supportive treatment against uh, covid-19 infection due to this its antioxidant property so uh, vaccines vaccines are taken before hand to prevent infections by introducing the immune system to viral recognition signals also so in short we can take a brief note of the virus as i have studied the classification morphology uh, classification morphology of virus life cycle of virus first is introduction introduction uh, microorganism which are smallest infectious agent and tend to 100 times smaller than bacteria after that uh, classification of virus 
on the basis of morphology on the basis of their host on the basis of their genetic material so on the basis of morphology as i have discussed about the helical virus polyhe polyhedral virus enveloped virus and complex virus so this kind of viruses are present in our uh, they can replicate in human body so helical virus example of helical virus is influenza virus ebola virus and uh, in polyhedral virus is pol example of polyhedral virus is polio virus adeno virus and after that enveloped virus uh, example is covid 19 covid 19 hepatitis b and hepatitis c covid 19 mein humne uh, jo virus attack hua is pandemic mein wo enveloped virus tha aur enveloped virus mein kis tarike se virus replicate karta hai wo maine aapko life cycle mein explain kiya hai So, कोई भी वायरस हो वो रेप्लीकेशन उसका इसी तरीके से होगा हमारी बॉडी में जाकर किस तरीके से रेप्लीकेट करता है वो लाइटिक और लाइसोजेनिक साइकिल से ही रेप्लीकेट करेगा ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ देयर होस्ट बैक्टीरियल वायरस प्लांट वायरस एनिमल वायरस बैक्टीरियल वायरस ऑल्सो कॉल्ड फेजेनी एंड दे हैव डी एन ए नॉट आर एन ए इन प्लांट वायरस दे आर ऑल्सो कॉल्ड फाइटो फेजेनी एंड दे हैव ओनली आर एन ए नॉट डी एन ए and in animal virus they are also called zoo phagene they usually have dna but may also have a rna now on the genetic material I, I, as i have discussed about the dna virus examples and rna virus examples dna virus examples are pox varicella adeno virus herpes virus hepatitis virus rna virus examples are aids mumps polio virus tego virus now now the life, life cycle first attachment adsorption For same process, second penetration, uncoating, then biosynthesis, then maturation, and the lysis or lysogenic process. After the treatment of virus, antivirals, Tamiflu, Relenza, body's natural defense, immune system, rest, antioxidants, and the vaccines. Thank you. To uh, I like to thank you to all of you.